so I know I said I'd never do um, another video about Anita Sarkeesian again, but <laughs> just go back and watch my last video. I, and the things I said then are just as relevant as now, in fact even more relevant, because I said back then, Anita knows how to manipulate media, and she's a good marketer, and this uh, article she's written in the Mary Sue is a very good example of, again, what she's good at. Do I think that she needs the money that she's trying to raise? No. Um, she's already made the videos. Uh, what she's asking for is $200,000 in post-production. <laughs> and considering that she had less money than that to make the video series that she was originally going to make, which she hasn't made yet, and finished making, is quite telling. And considering, again, that you can go back and you can look at her 2014 tax returns, and again, by the end of April, we'll probably be seeing her 2015 tax returns, only to probably see that she already had the money to do the series and the money that she essentially needed for post-production. Um, again, this is why I think she's doing this campaign now rather than after April. Because I think, again, in the 2015 tax returns, we're going to see how much money she raised. So, this is the article we're going to read uh, from the Mary Sue. Uh, two weeks ago, Feminist Frequency launched a crowdfunding campaign for Ordinary Women, our new video series about incredible, defiant women throughout history. And we're pleased to say that we're that on our way, having raised $73,000 so far from more than uh, 1,200 1, supporters so far. Uh, let's get this straight. Up until a, a couple of days ago, they were lagging behind the campaign we're going to be talking about. And it wasn't until the guy from Cards Against Humanity donated, I think, $25,000 to the campaign that they actually managed to achieve this. So, don't think that that's a huge number because the other campaign uh, has more supporters and raised this much amount of money. So, it's quite dis disproportionate and very dishonest to say that that amount of people has raised that amount of money. Uh, she continues, your generosity and enthusiasm mean everything to us, especially in the light of pushback we get every time we speak or speak at all. Notice how it's we, not I, because this is the case. Again, it's you, Anita, that are speaking, not a we, it's you. And by that, you're insinuating that you speak for every woman out there. And, quite frankly, you don't. No one elected you Pope of Women. My team and I are making ordinary women in part because we are so inspired by the stories of these incredible women who defied not only the social norms of their time, but also abuse, harassment, and threats that inevitably greet women uh, whenever they step out of their limited roles that have been assigned to them. Um... This is the modern age, Anita. Um, women can do pretty much anything they want in this day and age. And there are specific laws uh, for this. Back then, there were no such specific laws. There was no such movement. And yes, a lot of women did a lot of incredible things. I have no problem with you making the series. I have a problem, like many people, with you asking for all this money through your charity organisation that doesn't actually go to help anyone except you. Your charity is set up specifically to make these fluffy videos and yet by all accounts you have the money to make these videos, you have already made the videos, you are now asking for quite an exorbitant sum for pre-production costs for again potentially a series that you are going to drag out because let's face it her last video series was meant to end in 2012 
and she successfully managed to drag it out up until today and still not completed the series. Again, this is apparently to Anita there is a conspiracy theory, but this is a fact. <laughs> and again, you can already see her crafting the victim narrative that she's comparing herself to these women. I'm sorry, but quite frankly, you and these women are not comparable. When we launched this project, we knew it was going to put a target on our backs. Yes, because anyone who asks for quite that amount of money uh, is essentially going to have kickback from it, regardless of who they are. If I went on there and asked for, you know, $200,000 to, you know, start jacking off, of course I'm going to get pushback from it. So would anyone. Um, she continues, uh, and the online harassment directed us was likely to spike again. Unfortunately, it has. Surprise, surprise. Again, this coming from a woman who considers, again, harassment, people who tell her that she sucks. So what? <laughs> um, again, I do... My normal video and content for this channel is about, you know, people who are generally trying to defraud people. And, again, not only do I see resemblances in these tactics from what Anita is using, spinning the victim narrative, is no different from the snake oil salesman that I normally go after who spin wonderful, um, you know, victim complex narratives themselves that they are being pursued by, you know, other these mysterious people. Again, for Anita, it's these mysterious harassers. Um, being a target of sustained harassment campaign for over four years, it's not a sustained harassment and nor is it a campaign. You are a public person. Any person who is a public person receives these harassment campaigns. Um, again, in my new job, I work for someone similar and they receive just as much hate and they aren't talking about feminism, they're talking about um, you know, self-help, you know, one of the things the company I work for publishes uh, self-help books and this guy receives, um, you know, harassment from trolls or, you know, from general people on a daily basis. So, again, being a public figure and getting this type of stuff is not surprising and he is less known than you, Anita. So, Again, it is not surprising you are receiving harassment. I can see the patterns. Their playbook is always the same. I've always said, and again, I said it back then, sooner or later Anita is going to release a book. And I can't wait for it to come out. <laughs> it's going to be hilarious. Uh, I've talked extensively about how, they, how the harassers think attacking women is a game. It is a game, and either it's called trolling. They want you to react. They want you to want to get a rise out of you. And people have said to you time and time again, and to other people that experience this, don't feed the trolls. It is a mantra that has existed since the beginning of the internet, and yet you don't listen to it. And how they weave convoluted conspiracy theories to try and sow dissent what I came up with in the why said in the beginning about her already having the money and the fact that she hasn't completed her, her last video series to Anita these are conspiracy theories those are not conspiracy theories those are proven facts you can go and look at her tax returns from the IRS and again at the end of April her 2015 tax returns will be available and we will see how much money she has raised, and I guarantee you, she already has the money to finish this project. Uh, again, 
or so dissent, or how they work up a mob into denying women's experiences and professional expertise. Every woman's experience is different, right? Let's, again, Anita always says that she is doing this to help women. This is not doing this to help women. It's doing it to help herself. Again, her entire charity is an evasive ego project. Because if she was, then she'd be, you know, going out and helping women in the Middle East or in the Third World where feminism doesn't exist, where you wouldn't get a threat of violence. Violence would happen to you. You would be killed. So there is a massive disproportion uh, of, you know, particularly what I call SJW feminists ignoring the plight of these women and Anita ignores the plight of these women so very hard. It's unbelievable. Um, in response to our project, a very vocal known harasser who has spent years attacking feminism and individual feminists on YouTube has launched a counter fundraising campaign which was kicking your ass up until again a couple of days ago where you had a multi-millionaire drop $25,000 so that your campaigns could be, so that these campaigns could be equal. The Amazing Atheist campaign is the guy who set it up, was doing better than you, and had more backers than you, which says a lot about your campaign. Specifically designed to both discredit me and mobilize his viewers to further abuse me on social media. He never said that for anyone to go and abuse you on social media. That is a fabrication. He said not to specifically. And yes, it does discredit you because, again, giving money to that organization actually helps women. You doing these fluffy videos does nothing. The only reason she is doing uh, is changing tact from these gaming to history videos. If you pay attention at anything at all to what the uh, up and coming channels are on YouTube, they are history videos. People talking about history. This is why she has changed tact completely. And she goes basically further on into, uh, into the article again about how one gentleman uh, has emailed individually, again, has a lot of time in his hands to do that, um, on why I'm a horrible individual and not support my work. Seed and Spark, which is what she's on, not Kickstarter, has temporarily shut down their messaging service for the duration of my campaign. Again, to quote Game of Thrones, uh, when you cut out someone's tongue, it's saying to the world that they have something to say. If you are so worried that this guy has something legitimate to say, then why not address this issue? And take his point and show that your backers or people that are not giving to your campaign because they're worried, why do you need this amount of money? Why, you know, why he's wrong or why this is a conspiracy theory. But again, Anita doesn't engage with her detractors. Because, again, her distractors all have genuine things to say. No matter what Anita says about them being haters or harassers, a lot of them have genuine things to say and genuine points. You have, again, she goes on about one guy who's, again, come up with an ebook of smutty erotic fiction. And you're like, who cares if he's written, you know, an erotic fiction about you? Who cares? You know, it's the internet. Lots of famous people have these stuff written about them. Who cares? Well, I have no interest in driving more traffic uh, to these harassment by linking to it. You've already mentioned to it, and this is the internet, and these things are going to be pretty easy to find, so thanks, I guess. Um, it has become background radiation of my work, and for some women, our entire lives, 
that is the reality uh, we think it is worth acknowledging and understanding not just because it is terrible because it is exactly why it's so crucial that we keep going um again i don't think it's a valid reason really for har receiving harassment to keep going unless you are generally again a lot of your again harassers uh, or have genuine things to say and address about your campaign but again because Anita doesn't address these harassers or address these concerns she never has again she labels them conspiracy theories again as I said at the beginning um, those are not conspiracy theories they are genuine facts and we have things to back up our cases and again if Anita wants to do that all she has to do is make a blog post or maybe an article addressing this fact you know <laughs> again if she's so worried about this guy you know emailing people and that they were going to pull donations then why didn't she send a counter email addressing all this guy's claims and showing the fact that he is wrong you know debunk the guy <laughs> you know it's worth your time and effort Anita to do this type of thing you know, unless you are generally worried that actually he has something to say. And then she goes on to again compare herself to these brave women and how she is continuing the fight. Um, again, all you're doing is making YouTube videos. Big whoop. Uh, I make videos again about how people are being conned out of their money uh, into buying snake oil salesmen or, you know, fake cures for cancer. Um, I certainly think my content's a lot more worthwhile than the content Anita has made. And again, there are videos out there showing that her content that is made is subpar and has gone out of her way to use things to fit her narrative and, you know, leave things out of context. And again, those videos are out there. Go and watch them. Again, her detractors are not harassers. They all have genuine things to say about her. And again, if she were to actually go out and address these harassers, why not? Again, the amazing atheist, the guy who started this counter campaign, um, has a, a podcast called The Drunken Peasants. Why does Anita Sarkeesian not go on The Drunken Peasants and have a conversation? with him. It, people have done it before. Again, this will not hurt her. It will, again, if she believes in herself so much that she has genuine things to say and that these people are, you know, time wasters and have nothing to say, then going on this podcast will not do her any harm. It will do her more good to do this type of thing. And yet she doesn't. Um, again, to compare with, you know, people like the Gerson Therapy or the Wolf, they write huge articles like this saying how they are being harassed by, like, the FDA or, you know, doctors and saying that, you know, they're, they're slandering me, they're discrediting me and, you know, without saying any specifics as to why. And again, I'm going to do another video addressing, I think, some of the comments the people have left in support because again some of these comments that they have left are exactly the same similar comments you would see in the comments I have on my video about people you know why you shouldn't do this particular alternative therapy um, and again these comments are exactly the same and yet there you have it <laughs> um, Again, it's all about campfire theory, but again, that's a video for another time. Again, if you generally do want to support uh, women and support feminism, then go support the Amazing Atheist, Amazing Atheist campaign. I'll leave a link to it down below. I'll leave a link to the video down below why he, again, points out why you shouldn't contribute to her campaign. Because again, his reasons are entirely legitimate. 